Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am doing a tag that is way long overdue. I was tagged in the booktube personality tag by Noah from Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse. I believe like a year ago, an entire year ago, um, at least. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Noah, for taking so long to get around to this, but I did get around to it. So something that you may or may not know about me is I love personality tests and analyzing people's personalities. <laughs> so this tag is right up my alley. So when I saw that Noah tagged me in it, I was super excited to do it. So um, the first question is, what is your Myers-Briggs type? And I actually retook the, the test a couple days ago because this one always changes for me every time I take a Myers-Briggs test. So I'm not sure I really know <laughs> what my Myers-Briggs actually is, but this time it came up as INFJ. Now I have been an INFP and kind of thought that that was what I was on the Myers-Briggs test for a long time. I've also been an INTJ um, back in like college. I think when I first took the Myers-Briggs test, I was an INTJ. And so if you don't know about the Myers-Briggs, I'll actually link a free test down below so that you can take it and see what it's all about. But the four letters represent um, like different facets of your personality. And so I is introvert. And then my N is, I think it's intuitive, intuition. And then F is for feeling and it's feeling versus thinking. So I'm more of a feeler rather than a thinker. <laughs> I guess I, I follow my feelings more and trust them over my head. <laughs> And then the J is for judging. Um, so either a judging or a more um, perceiving person. It's like J or P. And so my J or P has changed. I think my I is always an I. There's no question about me being an introvert. Um, my N is always an N. And then my F and T have changed. Um, in more recent times, I am an F. I don't know if it's because I... Um, I don't know. I, I grew up a little bit <laughs> and I, I, um, I have more feelings about things. <laughs> my feelings drive me more or if, if I, because I'm a mom perhaps, and then my J and my P can kind of inter interchange sometimes. So I don't know this last time I am an INFJ. So we're going to go with it for the purposes of this tag. But, um, the question that goes off of that is how does your type, your personality type on the Myers-Briggs influence your reading habits? And this one, I had to read a little bit about an INFJ because I didn't really know that I was an INFJ until a couple days ago. <laughs> I had thought I was an INFP, but I think an INFJ does make a lot of sense for me at, at this point in my life. I can definitely see it. And that's, that's kind of the thing about these personality tests. You can sort of see your personality in the descriptions after you take the test and you like read all about what it is. You can see a lot of yourself and then there's some things that like you're like, maybe I kind of fit that box. <laughs> but one of the things for INFJ that I think I definitely fit is my... Um, just d desire to have purpose in my reading and purpose in my activities. Um, I have never, I don't know, people approach reading differently. Some people read because they want to escape or they just want to relax. And those are totally valid reasons for reading. I think reading for me has always been more about understanding the world and the purpose of the world and learning about the world. So that's not to say that I'm always reading with that intention. I do read recreationally um, a lot of the time, but I think when it comes down to what reading means to me in my life, for me, I think it's finding purpose and learning about the world. And then there's a second part to this question, and it's how does your personality type influence your booktubing? And for this one, I would say 
I look for people who I can go into a deep conversation with and I think that's why I am drawn to booktube. I can participate in small talk and I know how but it's not my favorite thing. I don't love small talk. I don't love surface level friendships although of course we always have those in our lives we all have friendships that don't go as deep but i think for me with booktube i was able to find and i'm still finding people who go beyond small talk i think a lot of readers are looking for that deeper um, conversation with others and with with themselves and the world and for me booktube is a way that I can engage in a deeper conversation with others. And that's a huge part of why I love the platform so much. The second question is, what is your Enneagram number? And I am an Enneagram one and a very strong one. I am like a high, a high one. And from what I know about the Enneagram, um, the Enneagram one is the reformer. We tend to be teachers, we tend to be advocates that's another word that infj uses as well is the advocate um we tend to be um do-gooders <laughs> we tend to want to do right we want to do what um right by people and right in our lives and that is definitely me another thing about being a one is that you get very stressed out when things are not perfect and that is a quality that I have um, and I think that's where sometimes my my reading my one Enneagram one and my reading life clash so there's another element to this question as well how does your Enneagram number influence your reading habits and so for me I always want to reach my goals and what happens for me is I end up setting goals that are often too high. <laughs> so that has been a learning curve for me on booktube because booktube makes you want to do everything. It makes you want to do all the readathons and all the buddy reads <laughs> and so I've learned how to sort of step back a little bit and um, have set realistic expectations for myself and that has not been easy for me <laughs> and as a one whatever goals I set I want to meet and sometimes when I don't meet those goals I get very um, angry at myself or down on myself so that has been an element of, the, of booktubing that I think I have grown in <laughs> I think I have uh, relaxed a little bit I've let go of the reins a tad <laughs> And I'm a little bit um, better about like if things, if you know, your reading month does not go the way you wanted and you fell off of whatever wagon, <laughs> whatever readathon wagon you were trying to ride, um, it's, it's not the end of the world for sure. <laughs> it's not the end of the world anymore. And it doesn't mean that I um, failed at anything. It just means that it didn't happen. <laughs> That's hard for an Enneagram one to come to terms with, let me tell you. The other part of this is how does being an Enneagram one affect your booktubing? I want videos to be perfect. I want my editing to be good. Um, I've had to also let go of those expectations <laughs> because at a certain point in my life, I was getting busier. I used to have more time to dedicate to videos and making them and editing them and putting more like thought behind them as well in as far as like creativity um, which is an element of booktube that I like I like to think creatively about what videos I would like to make um I've, I'm just very limited with with time and creative video making takes a lot of time so I found that doing booktube staples and sticking to those has been working for me and helping me to, to keep this a consistent activity, a consistent hobby. So for me, it's okay to do those staples and not always have the most creative videos and that's okay. So it goes, it goes the same way. I want to be articulate on videos. I want these to do well. I want my channel to do well. It's that um, Enneagram one high expectations on myself and 
Um, what happens with me is if I start to feel like it's not going well, I sometimes will throw in the towel for a while and I, I won't want to engage. I won't want to do booktube. And I think that's sometimes a, um, a familiar feeling for all of us. Um, it can be discouraging sometimes when things aren't going well or videos are not doing well. Um, I'm highly critical of myself and I think that's a lot of my Enneagram one. So um, highly critical of my like production value, <laughs> highly critical of what comes out of my mouth. So just analyzing every little thing and over analyzing what I'm saying, which is also what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so that I think is what can come across um, for me when being an Enneagram one booktuber. And then the last one is your zodiac sign. And I honestly don't know much about zodiac stuff. Um, but my sign is an airy sign. And all I, all I have ever really known about being an Aries is, is that they tend to be described as like very bold and um, what's the ram is the animal. So like very like bullheaded and we just like dive first, like head first into everything. Um, aggressive, I think is an Aries and I'm not sure. I think I can have some of those qualities, but like as much as anyone else can, I don't think I'm an aggressive person. <laughs> but I'm a, a very determined person. And I think that element of being an Aries, I can identify with. So I'm very determined. Again, it's with the Enneagram one as well, de determined to do well with everything. And I want, I want to do everything at a very high standard, which is sometimes achievable and sometimes not. <laughs> so um, yeah, Zodiac sign influencing my reading habits. I guess it goes back to the ambition. I am, I can be an ambitious person. I have ambitious goals for my reading life. And also just like for my for my long life, there's, so, you know, the TBR that just keeps growing. So I think we can all relate to that though, whether or not you're an Aries. <laughs> and then um, booktubing, I would say the same thing. I I would be, if I'm, if I'm thinking of the word determined for an Aries, I am determined to keep this channel going <laughs> no matter how um how crazy my life is i'm still making videos despite being a lot busier than i used to be when i first started this channel i'm still here i'm still plugging away i'm not willing to let things go if i love them <laughs> and i'm not willing to let booktube go i'm still here and i will find ways to keep participating in the community now that looks different depending on the week <laughs> sometimes there's a video sometimes there's not but that's okay. I think having that, that determination has helped me to stay consistent and be a, have a booktube channel for five years. Um, that kind of blew my mind this year when I realized it was my fifth year. So I am, I would say, I can, I think I can say that I'm proud of, um, my ability to stick with something, even when things get hard. Um, I'm still here, still kicking. And that's the booktube personality tag. I'm going to tag a few people. I would love to hear um, Tiffany's answers for these from Beautiful Minutia. I would love to hear Christy's answers for these. I think maybe Noah might have tagged Christy also, but Christy, you're tagged too. That's it for me today. Let me know down in the comments. Do you enjoy following personality tests? Do you enjoy analyzing people's personalities, your own personality? Do you get any enlightenment from personality tests and labels such as Enneagrams and Myers-Briggs? Or do you not really care about them? <laughs> I would love to know what your thoughts are on them. And I would also like to know what you would be. What would your answers be for this tag? How do your personality traits affect your reading life? I would be so curious to know. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I have other social media links down below if you would like to follow me in other places. Keep reading great books and until next time, bye-bye.